Hello Guardians, no guard here and welcome back to The Wolf Among Us, episode 4. So, resume game, continue where we were. Smoking, together with the woodsman. Chilling out with the woodsman, you know? Cheaty brand. Cheap brand, I don't have much money. You're welcome. <laughs> My I'm God. not gonna lie, I was having trouble deciding which one of you to hit with this thing. Really? That's nice. That's really nice of you, Woodsman. Jersey Actually, you have a name. About what? About those girls. There is something you can do about it. You can get the fucker who did it. Ain't that the plan? Oh, bleh. Bleh. I'm sorry, I was too slow. Don't shake your head. Oh well, whatever. Anyway. Hey, Woody. Yeah? Hey, Woody. What are you gonna do now? We all got our role to play, Wolf. I'll see ya. Oh. Okay. Sounds like you don't know what you're gonna do next and you just want it to sound cool and deep, so, yeah. Nice. So let's go to the cut above. Yes. Butcher shop. Tubman Street. Sorry, we're closed. Why not? It's forbidden to smoke, but I am kind of, uh, you know. I don't care. I don't care. I'm. I. I don't care. This is. This is a butcher. And uh, I do not respect this shit. Anyway, so. Can I take a cola? I really feel like a cola. Or a lemon lime thingy. Anyway. Huh. Empty. Either he's got a whole lot of customers, or he doesn't have any. I think he doesn't have any. Anyway, uh. Right. I want to go inside. Same time. Yeah, right. There's no one here, so. Question got answered. Answer. Ring bell for service. Bell for service. Service. Uh, Big B wolf. Big B wolf. Yeah. There's a button. Don't touch a button. What happened to you? I'm looking for a piece of the magic mirror. Um, wh what? The magic mirror's missing uh, shard. Should. Where is it? Bloody Mary brought it here, didn't she? What? B Bloody oh, man. Mary? Magic mirror shard? <laughs> what kind of place do you think this is? Don't bullshit me. I'm not. Uh, you what you're looking for, I I think you'd be better off looking at uh, the Lucky Pond. Uh-huh, I get yeah, or some place like now. that. You know where it is, right? It's around the corner yeah. and a few blocks down. Save I've the explanation. Didn't find what I was looking for. Had some words with Jersey, too. Words? Anyway. Words. Yeah, among other if, stuff. If I'd so. have known that you already looked at the Lucky Pawn, I, I I, wouldn't have pointed you there. You I, I just figured anything worth a damn in Fable Town goes through Jersey's hands at some point. You know that. Believe me, I don't want to waste your time, Sheriff. <sighs> and I certainly don't mean to offend. Yeah? Well, Jersey had those dirty hands wrapped around my neck not too long ago. Oh, sorry. It's okay. I smashed his horse face in. Knocked some teeth <laughs> out. He won't be chewing bubblegum anytime soon. Listen, so Crane had the mirror. That. Mary had Crane. And she comes around here, right? If you're covering for her, I'm gonna have a problem with you. So you better think real hard about what you say next. I... Sheriff, I... Did you hear that? No. What? What? Oh, I'm real sorry. Oh, come Hold on. on. I, I just gotta go check on that. Right. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Uh -huh, Butcher? Uh -huh. I just have to go see. Now, nah, come on. Did you push? Shit. Push. It did push this shit. I didn't even see. Damn you. Okay. We 
should hurry then. I got it covered back here, Sheriff. I'll be right out. This must stink in here. Look at this. First thing. Yeah. Oh well. Just wait out front. I I'll be right there. Okay. I've had enough of this shit, Johan. Come on out. Just wait in the front. I'll be right out. Uh huh. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but you're not supposed to be back here for uh, safety purposes. Of course. Don't worry about my oh, safety. Damn it. <sighs> Just give me the magic mirror shard and I'll leave you alone. You can go back to whatever it is you're doing here. You. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. What? You're gonna kill me. Oh, God, she is gonna fucking kill me. What now? He's gonna get me killed. Huh? <laughs> what are you doing? Please, please, Bigby. Please don't. Bigby? What happened to Sheriff? Please don't kill me, Sheriff. I don't wanna die. Please. Please don't come. Okay, Listen, I'm not gonna slam him. Calm the fuck down, yeah. okay? I just want some answers. I'm not built like the Jersey Devil. Built? Whatever you did to him, I can't take that. I'm dead. Either uh, way, they said to me, yeah, Johan, you could keep your life and lose your shop, or lose both. What would you do? It, it was a simple choice to make in the moment. They? You mean Mary? Bloody Mary? Bloody Mary. This isn't my shop anymore. Bloody that crew Mary. took it from me a long time ago. Crew? Fuck. The crooked uh. people. Jersey Devil, D and Dumb, and that mental case, Bloody Mary. Y you want to talk about the real butcher? <laughs> it's her, not me. This is her place. I'm telling you, they muscled in on me, took over my storage and delivered uh, a long time ago. Enough. So. That's enough, Johan. I've heard all I need to. I'm just a victim in this. I don't know what they do back there. I swear. Well, we're about to see what's back there. And then we'll see if I believe you. I knew this would happen. Didn't know when. Mm-hmm. <coughs> okay. Kind of lab where you just uh, with them glamours or something. Yeah, that can be it. Right? Or such such glamour to glamours or other other kind of stuff. Oh. What is this place? I told you, Big P. I don't know. They muscled me out. I swear, I don't know anything more. I haven't been back here when it was like this. Mm. Warning lights. This business, it's all I've ever had. Damn it, you can't act like you're forced mm. into this and then turn around and help them. You'd still be here if you hadn't flipped that switch out there. I had to. Huh. You come in here making trouble for me. But you only give a shit now because the crooked man stepped on your toes or something. Where were you when they took this place from me? I had no idea, but yeah. Oh well. It hasn't uh, been easy for me. You, you think I want to live with this at my back? Well, I'm here now. I'm gonna sort this all out. So this is what Beast was delivering. Glamours, other kinds of magic. Could be uh -huh, dangerous stuff. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. What are they making here? I'm just a butcher. You want to talk T-bones? <laughs> that I can do. This stuff is out of my league. There are a lot of Tongue nasty of spells dog. you can make with the right equipment. Chains. Who's getting chained up here? You can't think I'm the only one the crooked man has under his yoke. Is Brain? 
this what those loans get you? That crooked piece of shit. Crooked piece of shit. Chains, it's it's all the fucking same. Mm. These are raw materials for making magic. Anti-Greenleaf and any other rogue witches out there probably get their supplies here. Bad they had time to erase it all. This could have uh, been useful. Shame. Oh, wait. Wait. Ah, damn it. Okay. Oh, well. Maybe just don't touch anything back here. That's simple. Uh, Maybe. It's on all the packages. What is it? That's the crooked man's, uh, Brand. It's on everything that goes in and out of here. So you do know something, huh? Is that a, a wheel or what? I guess they never used that thing on wolves, huh? What's that supposed to mean? It's from back in the homelands. A torture device. It came over here with the rest of our stories. Not that Lundy's need any help coming up with that kind of thing. It makes people crooked. By breaking their bones and... Do I really need to explain this? You... No. You don't. What the hell is that? Hmm? Whose jacket is this? I know this isn't your coat. What's it doing here? It's a coat. What's the big deal about some dirty... Looks like cranes. Seen some abuse. Oh. I'm sure he handled it just fine. No time for traveler's checks, huh? Oh, more money for me. He won't be needing <laughs> this anymore. Yeah, right. Let's not leave it. Uh, hmm. That yeah. sick piece of... Keeps. Shard. It's the shard. Woohoo! Okay, so bye bye. Hey, I have what I came on. for. Well, so real happy you yeah. found what you're looking for, Big B. But what about me? Take huh? care. What the hell am I supposed okay. to do now? I'm gonna have to spend the rest of my short epic. life looking over my shoulder for Bloody Mary. They won't care that I held up my end. Report to the business <sighs> office. Tell Snow I sent you there, and we'll, uh, we'll figure something out. Some kind of protection. You're going to protect me. Yeah, that's what I said. That's right. So, take care. You're close, by the way. So let's fix that mirror. I don't care who killed the prostitutes. If Crane was helping himself to the community coffers, it means his hand was in my pocket. And you just let him go! I don't know what you heard, but it didn't happen like that. Are you denying mm. the facts? She's denying me the chance to get a word in. Now, Miss White, I Sheriff did... Bigby has returned. Oh my god. Ah, oh, there's the old wrecking bowl himself. Bigby, uh -huh. where have you been? I'm not finished here, Miss White. You will have to wait. <sighs> just one moment, please. Look what I found. No. Seems your dog wants a biscuit. I'm not in the mood. And you've got a lot to answer for. Oh, really? Buffkin, oh, really? get this piece in the mirror right away. So. With pleasure, Miss White. <sighs> Look at yourself, Finally, man. Things are swinging back in the right direction. Good work, Bigby. You've been Don't gone mention all day. it. What did you uncover? I thought you were going to report Loads back to me. I mean... It's fine. So what else did you find out? I had to get real persuasive with the Jersey Devil down at the Lucky Pawn. But he told me that the crooked man's door, to wherever it is he hangs his hat, it moves. It's some kind of magic door. Do you think the mirror will be able to find the door once it's fixed? That's how Crane did it. That's how we're gonna do it. 
excellent work. Really. Sheriff, I could use your assistance. Would you join me at the mirror? Nah. Don't go far, Sheriff. I'd like to have a few words of my own with you. Unbelievable. Why'd uh -huh. you put the hurt on Flycatcher? Were you hiding something down at the Tweedles? Or was it just for fun? He worked for them, didn't he? I couldn't be sure that he wasn't involved. And I didn't want him interfering. I was simply endeavoring to make the search a speedy one. Surely you of all people can't fault me for getting overzealous in the process. I don't buy it. Ugh, no. I have more important things to deal with right now. Yep. You can be sure that we're gonna have a long fucking talk about this when fucking I'm done. Talk. I do it's so enjoy our talks. Fucking. I'll wait with bated breath. I don't understand. This piece just doesn't want to join the rest. Do you have any idea why? What? Got me. Well, where did you find it? What has it gone through since being separated from the rest? Shattering is a very traumatic experience, you know. So this process can be a little touchy. I found it at the butcher shop, the cut above. It was in Crane's Cove. There was a lot of weird magic going on there. That has something to do with it. Blah, 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 Other in the that, background. Oh, the last yeah. person I saw with Crane or his coat was that psycho Bloody Mary. Maybe she had some... Ah, yes, Miss White was asking about her. That explains it. You know who and the mirror have a very unhappy history with each other. How would you like it if she tried to use you as a doorway? I think I already know the feeling. Well, I think I know how to proceed now. It will just take a little extra coaxing, that's all. Thank you for your help. It could be a while, Sheriff. I'll find you when it's ready. Besides which, he might not want to come out with you watching. Oh, he doesn't like being spied on. If you ask me, you're everything that's wrong with Baby Pat. Is it fixed? Did you ask about the crooked man? Fucking okay. still working on it. He said it might be a while. If you're so self-reliant, what do you want from the business office out back? What I want is my business. I can't take those two mm -hmm. right now. Mm -hmm. We're trying to catch a murderer, and they're... They're over there bickering about bureaucracy. God we're damn it. at war. Don't they realize that? He's not even moving mm -hmm. his mouth and he's talking. Yeah, thanks. How weird. Go talk to okay. Toad. But just so you know, we can't pay him. Oh, there's the Excalibur. He though. really needs to go to the farm, you know. So, just break the news and be done with it, okay? Excalibur! Sorry. Where's Arthur, though? Oh, okay. Let's... let's... Toad, come here. I thought I made myself very clear. I see how it is. Passed off to an underling, eh? Why am I not surprised? Well, you did cause what damage brings me in here, so maybe it's for the best. Just need a little bit of dosh to cover it. Dosh? What is that? I tried talking to her about it, but it's like chatting up a brick wall, it is. It now, is, I'm sure yeah. you've got your own agenda, Sheriff. I'm starting to think you don't take me seriously, Toad. How many times have I told you to get glamoured up? You know that if you're out of glamour, I gotta send you to the farm. Well, how about your friend the pig, hmm? Is he going to the farm too? Yeah, you thought we didn't know about him, huh? Colin stays in my apartment. It's a lot different than a three-foot-tall frog walking the streets. Uh -huh. What? If the pig doesn't <clears> have to go, I shouldn't either. Okay, okay. If you give me one more chance and hear me out, I'll see a way for me and me boy to stay. I'm not me gonna boy. ask for any more than I need. I just wanna stay. So what do you say? You just give me enough to cover me glamours and we'll call the rest a wash. Please, Sheriff. Don't take TJ from the only Before only I didn't want to accept my money. Is my oppressive. Money. I've done nothing wrong but look different. Look. I'll try to get you that money and get you another chance, but you have to understand, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's not entirely up to me. You just can't uh, let it thank you, Sheriff. I knew I could count on you to make me whole again. We get it sorted, and I'll be glamoured to the nines, I will. Okay. Well, he's happy. Good. Bluebeard, you want to talk? Now's your chance. I've just made my donation funding this office, so direct your questions to Miss White. Okay. 
Well, at Maybe. least he's not trying to get rid of me. with me. He's not. For now. Did you take care of Toad? I mean, I saw the way he left. I know it may not seem that important right now, but glamours are the law for a very good reason. Don't worry. I did the right thing. Are you sure? Because he left looking pretty happy. Yes. <sighs> Fine. We'll deal with it later. I know I should be asking how it got like this, but I just keep wondering why it happened to Faith and Lily. You've seen his world. Do you have any idea why he'd want them dead? I don't know if the crooked man killed them with his own hand or if it was one of his goons. Don't really know. I don't know. But when I catch the fucker who did this, I'll find out why. Sheriff, Miss White, I believe the mirror is repaired. Free. So, I have to say I have been better. But thanks for putting me back together. I'm sorry. I just I have to know. Mirror, mirror, we're glad you weren't slain. Now please show us that sick creep crane. Hmm. Snow, I know you've got your reasons, but he's not our top concern right now. Oh well. Yeah, okay. You will get on that plane to Paris, and you will wait for the day the crooked Paris. man needs you. Until then, not a peep. Otherwise, I get to deal with you my way. So please, please disobey. Wait a minute. Someone's watching. Oh yeah, Bloody Mary and mirrors. Oh you. Okay. What? Just happened. We pointed you in the Holy. wrong direction and looked at Bloody Mary's reflection. Oh, her. That explains the sting. I'd rather not have to feel the pain she brings. So, Sorry. so. let's not do that again, okay? Looks like we'll have to track him down later. You're right. We need to focus on the immediate threat, and that's the Crooked Man. Bigby, we don't have a lot of time. <laughs> no time to pout. So where does Crooked Man hang out? Nice. I don't recognize the door, but that's the Crooked Man symbol on it. Hold on. Okay, change. The door. It moves. As I, I said. Tell you. Wait a minute. I know that door. Central Park. I don't know when it's gonna move again, but I'm gonna get there before it does. Bigby, wait. When you get the crooked man, hurry, hurry, hurry. make sure you bring him back alive. <clears throat> he has to stand trial. We can't just dispense street weird. justice. I know that emotions can run high, and you have your reasons to handle this a certain way. I'll catch him and bring him back here, alive. Then we can clean him and cook him together. Good. I have enough to worry about here while I prepare the case against him. So I'm going to trust you to handle this properly. That is, if you think you're ready. Of course I'm ready. I got no other choice. You have weird earrings, no? What the hell is that? Okay. Anyway. We're gonna meet the crooked man now. At the Gothic Bridge, Central Park, 94th Street. Night. Okay. Nice. Let's just kick it in. Badass style. Okay. Let's go. Okay. We're stuck here, I guess. Crooked man? Well, you look crooked. Enough. Tim. Okay. What the hell Tim. are you doing here? Tiny box. Sheriff. Tim. I'm here to take okay, you to the box. Sorry. Thanks, by the way, for leaving off Tiny. I have to admit, when they asked me to watch the door, I wasn't sure what to expect when you came through that portal. I know you weren't here on a social call. <laughs> okay. You know, I kind of thought the crooked man would have bigger guards. 
control. It's tied oh. to him, but it's not a box. So okay. almost insulted he doesn't. Maybe he just wants to talk. I'm sorry, it's just a Markiplier right reference. It, so so you come this anyway. way. Look, this is the one thing I have to do. All right, let's get this over with. Come on. That's all I want, Sheriff. Thanks for understanding. This is all I'm here to do, and I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> I know I'm probably the last person you'd expect to be a guard. You shouldn't be here, Tim. This place is dangerous, especially for someone like you. It's not like that. Whatever you may think of him, he doesn't treat me like some broken little kid. I think he gets what it's like. He gave me a job. And I'm lucky to have it. This is the only option I've got. Just keep that in mind, maybe? Because if you and the boss go up against each other, the rest of Fable Town <clears throat> is going to get caught in the middle. Don't you realize you're not just minding the door? Work for that crooked bastard, your hands get dirty, too. It's not so bad. Not so bad? Are you fucking blind, Tim? He's a murderer. So you're telling me you agree with everything Crane does? Nuh-uh. Oh well. A lot of us depend on him. Some of us never get to the front of the line at the business office. But he's there. We need you, but we need him too. What we don't need is a war. Hey, Sheriff, huh? hold up. I gotta go in with you. Can't you just wait up, Sheriff? Okay. Thanks. <laughs> What did I tell you? I hear Jersey. Stop laughing at me. Oh yeah. Go ahead. You got a job to do. Sheriff Wolf, sir. Move. Oh, they're all here. Thank you, Tim. I know the sheriff isn't the accommodating sort, but you handled it. You did well. You can go now. Thank you, sir. What the hell happened to your eye? Eh? Eh? You see, everyone in Fable Town has a role to fill. Eh. You just have to pay eh. attention to what they need to help them find it. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy this. Said. Okay. I've heard stories about you. In the old days, how you picked off those men one by one. Oh, how they screamed. The wolf is coming. And they would wait. Hiding anywhere they could squeeze their pathetic, shivering corpses. Some would just drop to their knees where they stood, close their eyes, and wait for death. And you'd give it to them. <laughs> I wish I could have seen it. Oh well. <clears throat> well shit. Well, shit, this is gonna be intense. This is gonna be intense, intense, intense. And episode 5 is already out, so I can play it already, actually. But I'm not gonna play yet today, because it's too late here already. Anyway, let's see. Let's see them choices. So, uh, I'm in the majority. So I'm going to the farm. Attempted to remove Nurse's ribbon. As well, why is there uh, a crown? I don't know. Uh, 
which crooked operation did you investi investigate first? Oh, I mean the minority. Oh, okay. Weird. Okay. What? Only 7.1% of the players threatened him. And again, another crown. What does that mean? Oh, well. Okay. Previous video. Boom. Stop! Fucking hell, man. Okay. So! Oh my god, I'm so loud. Was I always this loud? Oh god, okay. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, this was episode 4 of The Wolf Among Us. That was awesome. It's getting better and better from episode to episode. Episode to episode. This is probably wrong English, you know? I'm not a native speaker. Please forgive me for my mistakes. Anyway, I, I say sorry a lot, you know, I probably say sorry a lot sometimes, sometimes a lot, sometimes, anyway, and anyway, which is awesome too, um, so, Guardians, I really can't wait to play episode 5, I, I assume that you can't wait either to see what happens on the next episode if you don't know or if you didn't play it already or watch some other YouTuber play it already, but I hope you still you're still interested in watching my gameplay of episode 5. So yeah, Guardians, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Till then, take care and stay epic. Not a good sign. Oh god. Okay. Check, check, and be careful. Stop moving around. Holy shit. I don't like noises, makes me paranoid. What the hell is happening? Oh man, I'm starting to get paranoid here.